In today's video, I will be talking about the country, Singapore, which is one of the best countries on earth, if not the best. So, buckle up and let's go. According to the website, thecommonwealth.org, Singapore is a densely populated city-state in Southeast Asia. It sits south of the Malay Peninsula, across the Johor Straits. The country is made up of Singapore Island and about 60 much smaller islands. Most of the main island is low-lying. There are low hills in the central region and large areas of swamp in the northeast. Singapore's population as at 2018 was 5.6 million, and occupied an area of 720 square kilometers. The capital city of Singapore is Singapore. Singapore was once a British colonial trading post, today it is a thriving global financial hub and described as one of Asia's economic tigers. It is also renowned for its conservatism and strict local laws and the country prides itself on its stability and security. Is Singapore a city or country? No, officially the Republic of Singapore, is a sovereign island city-state in maritime Southeast Asia. Is Singapore a part of Malaysia? No, on 9 August 1965, Singapore separated from Malaysia to become an independent and sovereign state. The separation was the result of deep political and economic differences between the ruling parties of Singapore and Malaysia, which created communal tensions that resulted in racial riots in July and September 1964. Which country owns Singapore? Singapore became part of Malaysia on 16 September 1963 following a merger with Malaya, Sabah, and Sarawak. The merger was thought to benefit the economy by creating a common, free market, and to improve Singapore's internal security. Before the Second World War, Singapore was under British administration. During the war, Singapore was conquered and occupied by the Japanese Empire from 1942 to 1945. When the war ended, Singapore reverted to British control, with increasing levels of self-government being granted, culminating in Singapore's merger with the Federation of Malaya to form Malaysia in 1963. However, social unrest and disputes between Singapore's ruling People's Action Party and Malaysia's Alliance Party resulted in Singapore's expulsion from Malaysia. Singapore became an independent republic on 9 August 1965. What makes Singapore special? Safe and secure environment, one of the things that is rare to any other country in Asia is the safe and secure environment that the Singapore offers. Dot, dot, dot. There are more than 110 hawker centers in Singapore, selling multicultural food like Indonesian, Malaysian, Chinese, Indian, Thai and Western. Is Singapore a poor or rich country? Singapore is a high-income economy with a GDP per capita of $59,164 USD, as of 2020. The country provides one of the world's most business-friendly regulatory environment for local entrepreneurs and is ranked among the world's most competitive economies. Why is Singapore GDP per capita so high? In short, every study has found that Singapore's achievement of the highest level of economic development in Asia, was based on massive accumulation first of capital and then of labor, with productivity growth playing a tiny, almost non-existent, role. Is Singapore better than Malaysia? There is no doubt that the government of Singapore is far richer than Malaysia. The country's two sovereign wealth funds, GIC and Temasek Holdings, together have nearly US$500 billion, United States dollars placing Singapore among the top 10 in the world, while Bank Negara, the central bank of Malaysia's total foreign reserves are only about US$111 billion. United States dollars. Is Singapore one of the Asian tigers? The four Asian tigers are the high-growth economies of Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan. The countries that make up the four Asian tigers share common characteristics, including a sharp focus on exports, an educated populace, and high savings rates. Why is Singapore so rich? Today, the Singapore economy is one of the most stable in the world, with no foreign debt, high government revenue and a consistently positive surplus. The Singapore economy is mainly driven by exports in electronics manufacturing and machinery, financial services, tourism, and the world's busiest cargo seaport. Is three days enough for Singapore? Three days in Singapore is more than enough time to take in the sights and sounds of the city. Take a tea break in between your shopping sprees. Shopping never ends at Orchard Road. 
A visit to Peranakan, Straits born people of Chinese and Malay, Indonesian heritage culture at the Peranakan Museum is a must. How much money do you need in Singapore for three days? You'll want to plan on spending a minimum of $50 to $60 USD per day. This will cover getting around town, eating and staying in inexpensive accommodations. If you want to lay your head somewhere a bit nicer or have some extra cash to spend on bar hopping, plan for $85 to $100 USD per day. What are the top 10 attractions in Singapore? 1. Gardens by the Bay. An integral part of Singapore's city in a garden vision, Gardens by the Bay spans a total of 101 hectares of prime land at the heart of Singapore's new downtown, Marina Bay. Comprising three waterfront gardens, Bay South, Bay East and Bay Central, Gardens by the Bay will be a showcase of horticulture and garden artistry that will bring the world of plants to Singapore and present Singapore to the world. 2. Universal Studios Singapore Singapore's only movie theme park features 24 rides and attractions, including a pair of dueling coasters that brush past one another in several near misses in their aerial combat. Thrill seekers can choose between a coaster where they are seated or the other where riders are suspended. Exciting loops, sudden turns, breathtaking drops and thrilling near collisions will make you scream your heart out. Dinosaurs, lemurs, ogres and Egyptian mummies add to the thrills and adventures, with 18 attractions created or redesigned for Singapore, Universal Studios Singapore promises an experience that you will not forget. Laughter and screams are heard around every corner, and lasting memories are made every day. Themed dining and shops are available. 3. SEA Aquarium Enter and explore the marine realm of SEA Aquarium, home to more than 100,000 marine animals of over 1,000 species, across into 50 different habitats, each one as fascinating as the next. It's an experience you won't forget. 4. Kanjab Taproom Kanjab Taproom is Singapore's first taproom with a canning machine where customers can take away cocktails, craft beers and spirits from draft taps into cans. As liquor store, it also has a huge collection of canned craft beers, ciders, meat as well as some spirits, sake, soju and wines. As a snack bar, it has one of the best bratwurst hot dogs in town. 5. Raffles Lighthouse. Visit this elusive place which is not generally open to public. This place is not accessible to public unless you are invited guest or you are a staff member. The lighthouse is so majestic and the surroundings so serene. Noise is almost unheard of. It's just you and mother nature. 6. Singapore Botanic Gardens. This national park is open daily and features beautiful lakes, animals, flowers and plants, including one of the region's first rubber tree orchards. A UNESCO World Heritage Site and so well deserved. You can see so much. If you're visiting from overseas maybe you want to see it all, but if you're local, just do it section by section. 7. Adventure Cove Water Park. Thrilling slides and encounters with marine life, all in one place. At Adventure Cove Water Park, you can take high-speed water slides, laze the day away drifting on a lazy river, snorkel with 20,000 tropical fish over a colorful reef, wade among rays and even come face to face with sharks. Come have fun today. Where the water's full of life. 8. Singapore Zoo. Set in a rainforest environment, Singapore Zoo is home to over 2,800 animals from over 300 species of mammals, birds and reptiles. The park also boasts the world's first free-ranging orangutan habitat in a zoo. Delight in an exciting outdoor feast at Jungle Breakfast with Wildlife, an internationally acclaimed, award-winning program that offers exhilarating experience with orangutans. The fun is endless with interesting animal presentations, photography with animals and many more. 9. Sentosa Boardwalk. Great way to enter Sentosa. This is the most eco-friendly and sensible way to get to Sentosa, the bridge is connected to Vivo City Shopping Mall which is above Harbour Front MRT station thus making it more convenient to get to. Stroll at your convenience, stop along the way for good photo opportunities, there are covered places to get shade from the sun and vending machines along the way. 10. Sentosa Merlion. No visit to Sentosa is complete without meeting its most famous 37-meter-tall resident, the Sentosa Merlion. 
The legendary Merlion is a mythical creature with a lion's head and a fish's body, as a guardian of prosperity which personifies Singapore's history as an important seaport. Finally, this is how one visitor to Singapore sums up his experience. The country is very clean everywhere you go, it's clean, the streets are, the elevators are, and the restrooms are. This is because of the strict law about cleanliness. Singapore is very safe the police presence is very strong, and it makes one feel very safe and peaceful, knowing that all of the criminals will be caught and fined accordingly. Because of the strong police presence, corruption rates are down, and I know that I won't be ripped off by any government official. It is a very modern country everything is state of the art, everything works, the electricity doesn't go away, and really, poverty is a minimum due to these factors. Everything is very organized, systematic and well planned. The sewer system, the garbage system, you get the point. Singapore is a classic case of government working for the people the government really cares, to the extent that they made HDBs, and strict laws really for the people, and to banish criminals from the great land of Singapore. Lastly, the hot weather there are only three weathers in Singapore, hot, hotter, and hottest. So, this was all about the city-state of Singapore. Hope you liked this video. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know by subscribing to this channel and pressing the bell icon. Thank you, and see you next time with another video. Bye.